Smith. Uh, my name's Dr. Sandu. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Um, I know that you wanted to know a bit more about Huntington's disease. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I know you told me earlier that you know your mom does not have Huntington's disease, but your father does, mm -hmm. and you just wanted to know the risk, the potential risk of you having Huntington's disease. Yeah, yeah. possible. Yeah. Do you know what Huntington's disease is? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so Huntington's disease is a condition that affects the cells of the brain and essentially the cells get attacked mm -hmm. and over time what happens is the brain then starts to deteriorate and gets damaged. Okay. And that obviously has an uh, impact on the way the body functions and it can cause things like having uncontrolled movements, mm -hmm. changing of behaviour and um, also uh, changing of mood as well. Yeah. Um, making sure that you, you know you don't have as much controlled movements like eating, okay. communicating, and yeah. coordinating as well, um, and essentially that is you know part and parcel of what Huntington's disease mm -hmm. is. Now, although there is no cure, there are actual treatments that can help control those symptoms. Okay. Okay. But let's just talk about the genetic side of things because I know that was what you were quite interested in. Yeah. Now, the way Huntington's disease is uh, inherited is something we call an autosomal dominant way. And that's okay. just medical jargony words for what I'm just about to explain okay. to you now, okay? Yeah. Imagine this. Every single person has a gene that's inherited, one from their dad mm -hmm. and one from their mum. Okay. And essentially that makes the genetic makeup, so for example, our eye colour mm -hmm. or our hair colour. But one comes from mum and yep. one comes from dad. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is that clear so far? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to show you on the grid here. Imagine this is a normal gene that we get from our uh, parents mm -hmm. and that is the Huntington's disease gene. Okay? Mm -hmm. The first grid is basically, here is your mum, who mm -hmm. you said to me is completely fine. Yes. Um, so the chances are that she has probably got two normal genes, okay? okay? Um, but now let's look at your father. So there could be a chance that he's got one normal gene, mm -hmm. but one is a Huntington's disease gene because okay. he's, he's, he's got the condition. Yes. Yeah? So if we put it all together, so here's one gene from mum, mm -hmm. one gene from dad, that's a normal child. Yes. And the same goes on for here as well. Mm -hmm. But equally, one gene from mum here and one gene from dad there, and again, one gene from mum here, one gene from dad here. Mm -hmm. That basically shows that there's a 50% chance okay. that you could have Huntington's disease. All right. yeah. The second format is the fact that your dad could in fact have two Huntington's disease genes. Okay. And if we look at that, so mum again has two normal genes here and dad has two Huntington's disease genes. Mm -hmm. That basically means when we put them all together, so one from mum, one from dad, and their fourth. Okay. So everybody basically has a chance of yeah. having Huntington's disease. That's crazy. Mm. Mm. So essentially the best way to find out if you have it or not mm -hmm. is to get some genetic testing for yourself. Okay. And we can then find out whether you have the Huntington's disease gene or not. Okay. So I'll refer you for that. Yeah, if you can. Do you have any other questions at all? Uh, no, that's all. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Thank you.